Welcome to the instructional part of the video. Today I'm playing with my 1966 Fender Mustang, running into my pedal board using Dusky's new Hypatia. Did I pronounce that right? Hypatia? That sounds right. Hypatia fuzz. Um, it's a really versatile and useful fuzz, and I thought it would be a fun one to use to talk about what fuzz can do. Other things you're hearing, well, let's see. I'm playing through a Modro Tone Tweed Pro, mic'd up with a Shure SM57, and also there's a little bit of Valhalla FX vintage verb up in the mix. Now, let's discuss what fuzz is good for. First thing that fuzzes are good for are searing single note lines. <laughs> Notice, by the way, we'll talk about, well, let me show you how to play this, but notice the attack on each note is very unique to a fuzz pedal. Sneer, 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 sneer. That's kind of what they do. Well, you can set them like that. That's what I like them to do. The riff is 00345. Kind of backing off, three to five. Five there on the D. Zero, two, kind of a blues thing. And that was just me wanting to put a fill in there. Let's talk about that. So it's going to enter at that D note there. Ooh, listen to the sustain. Okay. So I'm going to hit a D and then an, an open D, hammer on. Seven on that D. Listen to the weird overtones that the fuzz gives me. Neat. And then a blues lick off of uh, a minor pentatonic on the E. Ten goes up. Eight. Lands on the seven of the G, and then I tag an extra E up high, uh, high there, so you get... Goes around, once more, and then we get to the other thing fuzz is exceptional for simple power chords, because it adds so much um, overspray around the note. Yeah, you can just do a D power chord, zero and two, B power chord. I specifically like how this guitar interacts with fuzz because Mustangs don't have a lot of output, so it's really fun. They're really great for fuzz, I feel like, because like, it's like turbocharged midget guitar. And then we get to kind of the next part. Now notice, I love those messed up overtones. Seven, skip seven, that's really kind of like an E7. Yeah, weirdness. A power chord, and I'm gonna get a little um, fourth fret of the G string to kind of make it a little bit melodic. And then still just the... a fun little thing there and then I just kind of felt like it would be neat to move if that was kind of cruising along in E major-ish kind of E garage um, kind of shift to the relative minor shift to C minor and this I kind of constructed this line to really showcase that thing I was talking about where listen to the attack of the note the sustain and the attack are to me kind of yeah what make fuzz unique and special to you so that little run or melody is some eh, where am i going starting on the d string and eh, what is that six four four two two one one four two two one one change lines Four, two, four, two. So that's all. 
minor, just for grins. Let's put some delay on there. Always, yeah, I always like to add delay to fuzz um, if I'm taking a lead. It makes it epic sounding. And then I just do a little fill off the C minor with just into a, again looking for simple intervals because the one thing about fuzz it doesn't do great with kind of too many notes at a time like I would never play like oh I don't know like a some kind of jazz it just turns to mush so you're always kind of aiming for like two notes or fourths and fifths that's at least what I recommend so four to six throw it flat and and still, it's kind of the same melody an octave higher, so now I'm thinking this C sharp minor. Little pick up to it on that G string, 9, 11, 9, and then bendy. 9, 9, 8, 8. Ah, so fun. Yeah, the sustain and the searingness. That's 9 going up a whole step to really equal 11. That's what it does, yeah. Still have that C sharp minor. What's that? 11, 9, 11, 9. Then there's a pivot point on a, a B chord, so I just do a little. So that little thing there, what am I doing? What fingers do I use? I don't remember. So that's off of that B shape. I'm on the 8. Because I have the sustain, I can go to 11, 14, 12. Nice, nice crunch there. The song's gonna go back around to that garagey main riff, so I was like, ooh, what if I kind of put a blues thing on it? So E blues. So satisfied, because it kind of stayed, it was pretty for a while, so it's always nice to throw a contrast in, go to blues, blues town. So where am I? Pushing that 15 up. What is that? Oh, isn't that Santana lit? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of uh, from. What am I thinking? <laughs> What's that? Oh, Black Magic Woman. Anyway. Yeah, totally. I didn't even realize that's where that lit came from. So. 12, 15, up, lit, and then down. Now, Black Magic Woman doesn't do that note, so yeah, I did. Oops, I quoted Santana. Hope he doesn't come after me. So 14's going up, so. And then George Harrison to do a, a bend out, and then what? Jump right back up. That's, yeah, that's, that's totally like a Harrison thing, to, to think it's going one way and then it leaps to someplace completely different. And now for something completely different. Down, and then, yeah, you're gonna get all the way to 15. Tricky thing to do. And because it's garagey, it doesn't matter if you don't get it all the way perfect right on time. Let it sing and sear. Ooh, delay. Cheating. Okay, so yeah, it does that big bend on this 15. No, 17, my bad. And then... It's almost like, uh, yeah, all the all various fuzz things. To, um, what was that? That song comes to mind. Was it Mississippi Queen? Anyway, fifth, uh, fourteen, just a little one. Let it sing for a little while. Some unison bands. Ten, thirteen. Some advice on unison bends for. For my bendy friends. 
I really don't think Pinky's ever really going to do it. Some people try and do it that way. It never really makes it. Um, I also don't think having your thumb in classical style really is going to do it, where your fingers is going to do it. For unison bends, I do death grip. Now notice, I think you can see how much I'm wrapped around to get those strong. I think, uh, yeah, that, that covers it. So let's review some of the things that fuzz is good for. The single notes sound snarly and amazing. Power chords sound giant and great. Feedback is available should you decide. Um, yeah, it's just you have to watch out for playing too many notes at a time because fuzz by its nature, it's a paintbrush. Well, it's not actually a paintbrush. One of my students pointed this out. It's like spray paint almost. It's just a... You know, it's, it's a big statement. So you just have to think about where you would want to make a statement like that in your song. Think it over. Have fun with it. Rock on. Yeah.